Even though I don't come from a musical family in the sense that no one is a musician at home, my family has always appreciated good music. On my mom's side, everyone loved samba and choro, and from my dad, I think I inherited my love for jazz and American music. In fact, my first instrument was the trumpet, which I played at the school band. And I remember listening to Miles Davis recordings in the car with my dad all the time. So, choro was part of my education from very early on, as my family often uh, hosted parties uh, in our house where a lot of like samba and choro uh, was played with live musicians. So, that was part of like how I was raised. One of the many recent highlights for me was to collaborate with mandolin player Danilo Brito from Brazil. I consider Danilo the greatest mandolinist after the legend Jacó do Bandolin. And he's certainly one of the most, I would say, one of the most influential uh, choro musicians today in Brazil, or perhaps in the whole world, since choro has become like so popular outside of Brazil also. Danilo and I toured together in 2018, and then after like the tour, we decided to record an album. That was a very smart move because everything, like all the music was kind of like ready. And the album will hopefully be released by the end of this year. Here I'm gonna show you uh, a video of the two of us rehearsing uh, here in Brooklyn. So for those who don't know, I'm uh, speaking from my, from my living room, from my house here in Brooklyn, Sunset Park. And we were rehearsing in the space in uh, Williamsburg. And the footage that you'll see is from that rehearsal. And what a better tune than Pichinguinha's 1 a 0.